cards, rebound might be the best way to put it. But also, compromise is going to be really the topic of this video. And that is with the announcement of Open Beta 64 Update 6 for Paladins. Which, whilst not actually on the PTS, changing and implementing this, there are now two separate game sections. Not exactly game modes, game sections. So there's the cards and bound, the normal mode for them, normal, I, I will stress that again, normal, and a mode that they're currently calling classic inverted commas or bound. The update is no longer going live today and is also delayed for another week. Now the normal unbound mode is the same as the current system on the PTS. You have the 10 card levels. They also give full rewards, including champion chests for first win of the day for each champion. Now what exactly full rewards means isn't that clear whether or not it will also include quests because bot matches give you gold but they don't give you your quest currently so whether they'll not come through with the classic side well we'll just have to see and with these queues there's an unbound siege onslaught payload seems to be missing but that might just be an error and additional modes will be added soon so what is that pve deathmatch a moba sort of lane thing like the old siege 1.0 however this classic slash bound mode isn't exactly the classic we had before it's not the 12 point system what it does is it sets all cards for all players to level 4 and what they've said is it doesn't give a champion chest for the first win of the day rewards. Like I said, I don't know whether it excludes all other rewards. And the cues for this are Siege, Unranked, Payload Unranked and Ranked Siege. Now first of all, the positives for this system. So if you didn't watch my video, it was the last one I did on OB64 that wasn't the live stream. I talked about Hyra's needing to do something positive to offset the huge negative impact and sort of news that have spread around about open beta 64 and paladins as a whole and i sort of talked about having a positive change to counteract the negative and one of the things i said was why not just screw the whole grind for the actual cards and make them all free just make the champion grind maybe slightly harder to offset that and to some degree this kind of does achieve that it's quite late in the day obviously it's been a while we've had this pts up for a long time but at its core in in terms of pay to win this whole section doesn't have any and also it's very open and comparable to other free to play titles that are getting more popular now like battle right like fortnite and other big games that well paladins is sort of sitting alongside and rubbing shoulders with but and there's lots of big buts the first and most obvious one is balance they are still committed to cards unbound and its core mechanics that hasn't changed and it still seems that they want that to be or they, like it's in their hearts they want it to be the main mode it's the mo mode that could make them money but the fact of the matter is they want that mode to work so for that mode to work to have level four cards in this other mode that should be sort of a level playing field how do you balance the two so that they don't interfere with each other and knock on each other and ruin one another's balance because from this point on they'll be kind of balancing for two separate games almost and level four is not exactly a logical place to put it all at and a lot of people myself included like the customization of the 12 point system and the fact that it was slightly more complex it wasn't that complex but it gave you quite a few options to set up builds and make them a little bit quirky because of the amount of customizations you could do and by reducing the amount of inputs you have it's magnitudes lower in customization you can have in this new system because there's just not four for each card and i'm still talking about the unbound mode and honestly if you've watched my paladins versus overwatch videos a lot of what i said back then was talking about the customization and the depth of the card system gave it a different flavor to its direct competition another thing that makes it more obvious that this isn't the main mode that they want is that they're going to put the new game mode only on the cards and bound mode now why that is perhaps like the only th logical reason that you could think about it maybe they are adding a player versus environment grind so maybe there's going to be some bots and things coming into the realm because that might make sense if it's cooperative team against bots then it wouldn't matter so much that there was different power levels in the game it wouldn't be a pvp game anymore but that's all just speculation and base speculation but if it isn't a pve mode splitting that off from the main player base is just kind of sucky and from these so-called classic players not only that but splitting the player base in general is going to be not a great idea so rank queues were already relatively long and queuing for an onslaught map 
over a siege map takes longer. So splitting the fan base pretty much over six queues, depending on whether or not the omission of payload was a typo in Unbound or not. Maybe they are taking that out, so that would be five queues instead. And then six or seven, depending on that, with the new game mode, whatever it is that might come out. Obviously there's an argument for voting by playing the mode that you want to play. It will show which one's more popular. Another issue is that it makes the game more confusing. On the first level, if you're a new player coming into this, it's kind of more confusing than ever, ever before. Like, what do you actually play? And how do you play each one? And what the hell's really going on? There's also not a lot of systems in place currently to make it more transparent. So there's no UI to see what your level 4 cards are, you can't actually see what any of the card levels are in the Unbound version, it's really not great at the moment to be honest, because you only see the current level that you're on, and then you just have to do a little bit of math to try and work out what the other levels are, but if you're a new player you're not going to be bothered with that. I don't even know if I can be bothered with that for the most of the cards, unless I was being really serious and in-depth. Another thing is trust, and people already are leaving and trying out other things and holding onto cards Unbound to the last breath isn't helping restore faith all that much. Plus from this point on, can there be any faith that the so-called classic mode won't be disabled? It already seems that the players in these modes will be treated as second class players with less rewards and no access to newer modes. The bottom line is rebalancing an entire game around a grinding model isn't a good idea. And honestly, I've been playing some Overwatch recently and they've got a good arcade mode in there, it's strong, you can play your own game modes in custom matches with your own modifiers, they've got sets of their own game modes that they set up and you can get rewards for. Like that's how you make a fun separate mode. Cards Unbound isn't that. Cards Unbound is trying to set up a grind for players and they're trying to build the gameplay around it, but it's also having a knock-on effect on the, the main game. The thing is, if Hyrus decide to make all cards in the game level 1s and then balanced around that, they could even take some of the levels that you might use in your decks right now, so say if you wanted a certain ability to have a lower duration or a higher duration depending on how you're trying to build around something you would have two separate cards that would give you both of the options so you'd extend the amount of cards that you have but try and figure out how those builds are going to work and try and work that out before it gets to the player then I could see that working but this isn't how the system has been set up this is an afterthought that's adding into the game it's not about having level one cards they, they mainly wanted to get this unbound system out classic is just that an afterthought I, again sincerely if they changed it so that there was less customization but it was more obvious and more reliable in say level one cards maybe you had a third extra than what we already have then that could have worked and people probably wouldn't have been angry about it people might have been like yeah that was that's not going to be as good as what we have now but there wouldn't have been all this drama but that's not what they're trying to do which is what i'm trying to get at here Again, it's a lot better than it was, and this mode is not pay to win, and in fact because there's no grind, it's slightly better than the essence system in its mechanic. But, all of the buts that I mentioned are quite big buts, and big buts don't lie. I don't know guys, I'm a little bit tired of ranting at the moment. I've played OB63 a few times after my rant videos and had fun, but it's always in the back of my mind that this is going to go through, a lot of damage has already been done, and I don't know, I I've been taking a bit of a breather from Paladins at least at the moment, but let me know what you think about cards, rebound or the classic system. What's your actual opinion? Like, has it appeased you or are you still not happy? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe for my content and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching everybody. Joshino.